3.5 number 17, we are going to take the derivative of this function, r tangent, or the inverse tangent, of x squared times y inside is equal to x plus x times y squared. So this requires implicit differentiation, which is put d dx all the way in front, put parentheses, that will represent we are taking the derivative. And now let's just get to work. The derivative of inverse tangent is going to be 1 over 1 plus, you put down whatever you have inside first, which I'll put parentheses, and then inside is x squared times y, you put the inside here, and you square that. And then you always check to see um, the chain rule. Look at the inside, which is x squared times y. You have to multiply by the derivative of x squared times y. And since this is the product, that requires the product rule. So we will multiply by the derivative inside. We keep the first function first, which is x squared times the derivative of y. That will be dy dx. And you add the second function, which is y, times the derivative first. That will be 2x. And that's it for the, that's le for the left hand side. And now you move to the right hand side. This is equal to derivative of x respect to, with respect to x is 1 plus the derivative of x times y squared. This also requires a product rule. We first put down x, you multiply by the derivative of y squared, bring the exponent to the front, you have 2y to the first, and then you multiply by the derivative of y, which is dy dx. And you add the second function, which is x, which is y squared, excuse me, which is y squared, times the derivative of the first, which is just 1. And now the rest is just going to be algebra, right? So I will first do it by take the front, distribute it inside, like this. And now let's see what we get. For this part times this first part inside of the parentheses, I will end up with x squared on the top over 1 plus. And this is x squared y inside of the parentheses raised to a second power. Let me write it as x to the 4 y squared, and then I still have the dy dx. And then I take this, distribute the second part, I will get plus 2xy on the top. Over that on the denominator, I will also write it as 1 plus x to the 4 y squared, just like that. And that will be equal to, uh, this is just 1, and this is plus, let me just rewrite it, this is 2xy dy dx plus y squared, this is plus y squared, like this. And now, as usual, we are going to combine all the terms that has dy dx on one side. So which is this term, and also this term. Let's take care of that first. This is good, so it stays on the left-hand side, and it's also positive, so it's really good. I have to bring this, the 2xy dy dx, onto the other side. So, first of all, let me put on dy dx, because I'm going to factor it. So put on, the, put on the dy dx all the way at the end, and then put a big parentheses in the front. This part has a dy dx, and then you put the, the, the front, which is x squared over 1 plus x to the 4 y squared, right? This, once it goes to the left-hand side, it becomes minus. So you have minus 2xy. Right, that's equal to 1 and I still have the plus y squared on the right-hand side. And we will also multiply, sorry, we will also bring this onto the right-hand side. So we will become minus 2xy over 1 plus x to the fourth power y squared. So, so far so good. And then we're almost done. Now, we just have to divide both sides by this. And we can isolate the dy dx. And this is going to be a huge fraction. We will get 1 plus y squared minus 2xy over 1 plus x to the 4 y squared, all over, the, like all this, all over that, which is x squared over 1 plus x to the 4 y squared minus 2xy. Phew. So far, so good. But now, we are not almost done because we have complex fractions. So, the deal is, multiply the top and bottom by the common denominator of the small fraction, which is just this, which is just 1 plus x to the 4 y squared, top and bottom. Right? And then as usual, let me just draw you the arrow 
So to represent that, we are going to distribute all this inside, like this, all right? And then we also have to do the same on the bottom. And hopefully after that, we'll be, we'll be done. We will, trust me. All right. <laughs> so for the first one, I will have to do one times this, which is just one plus x to the four y squared. So nothing changed, one plus x to the four y squared. After I multiply this and that together. And then the second one is going to be adding y squared times one plus x to the four y squared. Well, I have to distribute the y squared into this parentheses. y squared times one is y squared plus positive y squared times positive x to the four y squared. You, you, you are going to get x to the four y to the four because y squared times y squared is y to the fourth. And the x squared, I mean x to the four stays uh, in the front, nothing changed. And then the third part, minus 2xy over the denominator, the denominator and that will cancel each other out. So you minus, you're just going to get minus 2xy like this, go over. And now you take the, this, multiply with the first part. The denominator and that cancels out, you have x squared. And you just have to work out this part. And once again, you have to take the negative 2xy, distribute inside. Negative 2xy times 1 is minus 2xy. Negative 2xy times x to the 4 y squared. I know it's going to be negative, and I know it has a 2 in the front. x times x to the 4 give you x to the 5. y times y to the 2nd power give you y to the 3rd power. And then we are done!